In June of 2015, at the request of the Department of Economics at Florida State University and of Professor Joe Calhoun, Director of the Stavros Center for Economic Education, CNDG embarked upon a project with our partner, Pearson Learning Solutions, designed to move learning activities and examples used in the Introduction to Economics and the Fundamentals of Micro and Macro Economics courses to a virtual campus. Working with Professor Calhoun, we began designing virtual 3D immersive activities which brought undergraduate economics to life in a new dimension of teaching. Together we have built a comprehensive educational environment for teaching this course, providing online and virtual live instructional spaces and innovative interactive simulations, offering students learning experiences that can only be obtained in a virtual world. The benefit to students and faculty has been evident. In the video that follows, they tell their own story in their own words. I chose a virtual world as a medium when I saw my friend Stephanie Dillon in chemistry using Second Life in her chemistry class. And then it finally clicked with me in terms of, wow, those are some of the things, those are some of the tools that I could use in my class to get students to do what I've always wanted all of them to do. And once I got the wheels turning and I had a, a few people from CNDG sit down with me and further develop those ideas in Second Life, then it just took off like crazy where I was able to do the things in Second Life that I've always wanted all of my students to do but could never do it. So now I treat my Second Life labs kind of like a homework assignment in addition to the regular things I do in class. The biggest difference is I can now get all students involved as opposed to just a few students in the classroom. What I think it's added for the students is that it is reinforcing economics concepts that they need to learn in class. I mean, because it's one thing where you go to class, you know, you listen to the lectures and the lectures are very long. So all you're hearing are words, or you can also go and study and read the textbook and it's all just, you know, words that you're re reading. But having this uh, opportunity of going in a virtual world where you're learning about economics concepts, um, you're getting that visual and that's reinforcing the ideas that a student needs to learn um, to understand the concepts. The biggest surprise for me was not necessarily a surprise, but it was getting me to think a little bit bigger than what I had been thinking. So for example, when I first sat down with the development team, I was always asking a question about, well, can we do this? Can we do that? And the response was always, Joe, we can do anything. This is a virtual world. We can build almost anything you want. So I think developing the activities in Second Life with CNTG was pretty amazing to see. So there is far more interactivity within the virtual world than there would be with something like a discussion board. The virtual world lends itself to kind of a, a more tangible experience with performing the economic experiments as we've drawn them up. So it would be impossible to replicate something like the trading game that we that we do. We have all these different types of games that the students are playing where they're in with like mad scientists or they're at fishing pond and they're catching fish. And it seems like we've given tailored experiments to the CNDG uh, team and they've been able to reproduce those in the virtual world with a high degree of accuracy and clarity as far as they make sense as you're performing the experiments as your uh, avatar. It is all, it's so more, much more personal and it's a lot easier to make those out of class connections from like what you're learning, what you're doing in Second Life, which is more personal than what you're learning in class, which is more conceptual. It's really easy to make those connections in the virtual world. Um, I think it's easy for them, for students, the TA or the professor to go into Second Life and communicate with each other. 
it wouldn't be nearly as beneficial, it wouldn't be nearly as fun if students just went into the world, literally just interacted with the world by themselves, they went and they, they did the module, and then they left. It, it's so much better when the student has to interact with other students. They, they get to, uh, to chat with them, they get to trade with them. They, it's really, it's not a group project in a traditional sense, but the interaction is just as important with each other as it is with the virtual world itself. It reinforces the concept going into Second Life and doing it again. It's like, oh, that's how that works. That's how that concept works. Okay, I didn't get that in class. Now I see how that can play and now I see the example. The support from CNDG is world class. It is phenomenal. I do not have enough positive adjectives to describe the support that my students and I receive. Well, every time I've been in Second Life and it's something, if something does go wrong, the support staff is always there within minutes to help me figure it out. I am absolutely committed to Second Life for the foreseeable future and that it'll be really fun to see how we can enhance what we've already built.